Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to be checking out an awesome container railway add-on that was made for the Spy Cakes terminal. Now this container add-on railway looks really cool. Now I'm sure some of you might remember that Goldberg railway that we checked out a few months ago, which was absolutely incredible. The creator created a whole railway system uh, around the Soy Islands, and this time back, uh, they are here to create a new one. And this one is specifically designed to move containers from the actual boatyard or shipping area here, all the way up to the railway part where you can then load it onto your trains or vice versa. Um, the main problem here is, of course, is when you are delivering containers, you are delivering them up all the way over there and you actually have to have some way to transport them down here. So the crate has done this cool railway system that you can actually transport them using this little miniature railway and it looks so cool. I'm very interested to check this out. You guys know I'm a complete lover of any type of add-on that enhances gameplay and it's just fun to play with here in Stormux. So there's a couple of different features on this. The creator's got a crane here. Now if I'm correct, this isn't part of the creator's own creations. They've used that from the workshop. The same goes for a container mover, which is just over here. And then also there's another crane up there. Now those things, I think the creator hasn't made. They've actually made the railway itself and the train. So you can see it's a very tiny little locomotive. Apparently this is fully electric, which is quite nice to see. Uh, and then you load the containers onto here and then you can pull them up to a train or you can bring them back down. Now we're gonna test that out, of course. You guys know that I'm gonna be testing it out. See, I love this spine system that goes all the way up. Okay, uh, this is the container mover. As I said, this isn't part of the creation uh, in terms of what the creator's created, but it is part of the actual add-on. So when you do download this and spawn it in, uh, you can get it. Now, if you wanna get this add-on, you can download it. I will leave a link in the video description uh, and just make sure you start a new save and you enable it as an add-on. So, so we're just gonna grab this first container here and we're going to get it loaded and we're gonna try and put it on that actual container area just down over there. So we're gonna go over here. It works pretty simple. I think we just go over like this. Uh, then we press the four key if I'm correct and make sure we get top containers on and we also do connectors. So that's all connected and then we can go and raise this whole unit if I'm correct. There we go. Uh, let's go backwards. And let's go and put it on this creation. So we're just going to bring it back here. Now this container mover is quite nice. I can't remember if this was created for one of my challenges or not. I could be wrong. Uh, let's see if we can just try and get past all of the stuff here. So I'm hoping we can just drive right over this. We're soon going to find out. I think we can just make it past. <laughs> Perfect. Maybe I'd like to see. Is there a way to go underneath that? Possibly there is. Like a little tunnel piece. But this how it works, if I'm correct, is we're going to go and pretty much just drive over the back piece and slot this on top. We need to enable the connectors underneath though. And I don't know if we need to enable the connectors on the actual train piece. We'll soon find out, I guess. Well, we should be able to fit it on there. Yep, that looks good. Carry on going. And we're gonna slow ourselves down. Cool, get the handbrake on. I'm just gonna jump off and enable the bottom connectors which are over there and that should connect. There we go. We can then jump in here and disconnect the connect to the top, disconnect those ones. And we should be able to just drive off of this now, like so. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna stop this thing and we don't need this anymore. So we're just gonna turn this off, handbrakes on. We're going to fold extend and we're going to lower that. Cool, okay, so we can get out of that now, and this should be all connected, and we can get in this train and see how this is gonna go up. So, padded seat, uh, brakes off, we have a little bell, and then we've got throttle lever. So let's go full tilt. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. So it's using a wheel underneath there to obviously move it, and then it's just got the rail pieces that go along there. Now, I do recommend you have damage off, that's just my opinion on this, just in case of anything getting damaged. But I can't believe it's got enough power to actually pull up a whole container. Now, if I'm correct, it can't pull up two, but it can bring two down. Oh, so there is this little bridge piece underneath here. That's cool. So you can drive. Oh, that lifts also, because there must be a button underneath there. Ooh, that's quite a nice feature. So then you can drive your containers through there, which is quite nice. 
So it seems like we are struggling ever so slightly, but we are definitely going. And I can't believe such a small little locomotive can pull that whole container up there. These things aren't light either. Look at that. And it seems like we've got some type of generation system up there at the top, which we possibly could actually turn on just in case. You can have a look at the battery there. But we can turn that on up there. So I wonder what that does actually up there. So it looks like just a generation system of some sort, maybe to recharge. Yeah, I'd probably say that is used to recharge the locomotive, uh, but we haven't used much of the battery. Like we've pulled up one container, we use about 15% plus minus, but not bad. Where is there recharging? Yeah, so you can see there's a recharging port just on the left there. So that must be for recharging. So we're bringing it around up into here. And then you can imagine you'll have your train either waiting here or you'll be arriving by train. Uh, into this location and you can use this crane just over here to then scoot things onto your train uh, which is pretty cool let's go and just get this uh, forwards a little bit more actually put it into reverse cool so we're just going to bring it in here we're going to pop the brakes on put this back down to zero cool and now we're out happy days we can use this crane now which um, looks like there's control tower up there so we'll go up to that See if we can get this container off. We probably want to disconnect the bottom connectors on this and go and connect it up there. This looks like it runs all the way through, so it can actually move around quite a bit. Now, it only does access that one railway piece. I'm correct, yeah. And then in here, and then we should be able to move this forwards and then up and down. Yep, that. Okay, let's go. How would we go down? Maybe up and down? Yes. Cool. So we're going to bring that a little bit up. Make sure I don't hit the container. Nice. Okay. Pretty straightforward, actually. So you see what I'm talking about. We can only access the one railway uh, just on that side. But yeah, nice. Okay, let's start slowing ourselves down. A little bit more forwards. And then maybe bring it down even more. Cool, and uh, let's enable the connectors. There we go, so it's now connected. So now we can lift that up <laughs> and then literally slide it across and put it on our train, if there was a train here, of course. So that's really cool, I like that. I think that's a very smart idea to have something like this to a little train or to move things up and down. That's really nice. Now I do wanna go along here, let's put this into reverse. Guessing this goes much quicker with no containers on it. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, I just want to slow ourselves down here. I want to see the recharging. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, I think this is a recharging. So this must be like an automatic generator system. And then you can just take this, connect it over there, connect it over there, turn the generator on. And this should be recharging now. Probably will take a while for it to recharge, but that's probably fine. Yep, you can see it's going up. Okay, so that does work, which is cool. Okay, uh, let's just go and put this away and turn that off. Uh, I wanted to check out this little bridge underneath here. So, okay, so we do have one little access or tunnel here if we need to get through, but there's also another one over here that I wanted to check out. Oh, that's nice. So if you had another, if you wanted to get another container mover through here, if you couldn't possibly fit it through here, you could drive it through there also. That is smart. And then of course we do have this big container uh, mover crane here that you can offload from ships and then literally swivel it around and put it straight on the tram. That's really nice. Now what I would maybe want to see, which could be a cool little thing to maybe add on in the future, is to automate this whole, pro whole process. So you can imagine you had your train waiting down, down here you would offload it from your ship. And as soon as you load it onto like the back of the, the train, it would automatically start driving up, get to the top here. And then this piece would automatically offload it onto maybe on the ground or maybe offload it automatically onto a train. I think that'll be quite hard, but because it wouldn't know which train to put it on. But um, yeah, this is a really cool add on. I like it. You know, it's it's nothing over the top in terms of like, detailing but it's just clean simple it works 
Um, performance is pretty good also. There's not too many pivots and things going on. It's not slowing our game down. As you can see, we've got great performance here with everything. But uh, yeah, I think it's really cool. And I'd love to hear your comments on what you guys think about this. I'd love to see the creator doing some more things like this, uh, maybe at different locations throughout the world. But you guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any of my future content and get notified of it, make sure you click the little bell icon on this video. And until next time, we will see you 